some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I've got a double feature for you. Uh, the first one being a rather despicable display of stupidity on the part of Liberty Troll as he goes into a uh, WIC office in Orlando, Florida, and, uh, well, he ends up getting himself roughed up by somebody that he antagonizes. Oh, dearie me, what a freaking moron. Who could have seen that one coming? And the second half of the video, just to get the bad taste of uh, Zacky Boy out of your mouth, is an arrest video of some moron from Australia who just likes to mirror the American frauditors. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome back, Liberty Trollers. We're at the WIC office in Orlando, Florida. We're going to be heading inside, conducting what's called a First Amendment audit, making sure that our public servants treat we the people with respect and, above all, honor our rights. Let's take a look around. Yeah, yeah, Zach, whatever. A likely story. Uh, yeah, the public servants. Yeah, whatever. When uh, clearly in your video it wasn't a public servant that, uh, well, accosted you. It was, well, an average citizen. And, uh, well, you were quite antagonistic to begin with, dude. So what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, wait, never mind. I know where you're coming from. You've been on YouTube for well over 15 years. You started off uh, uh, licking the boots of Venom Fang X all, that, all those years ago. Oh, yeah, and speaking of your friend, Sean Venom Fang X, do you remember what happened to him when he did a lot of false copyright strikes on uh, Thunderfoot and others back in the day? Yeah, he was forced to do an apology video. Do you want to end up doing the exact same thing? Millennium Copyright Act to serve takedown notices in relation to a number of Thunderfoot's videos on YouTube. In return, Thunderfoot has agreed not to pursue legal action against me or report me to YouTube. I now realize that I should have sought legal advice before acting. When I served the notices, I did not have a clear understanding of what I was doing or the potential consequences of my actions. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Uh, I've got to blur it because, you know, there's numerous children throughout this video that uh, Zacky Boy didn't really care about. In fact, at one point he says he's not filming children, but the children are definitely all throughout this video. So, dude, you have no ethical standards when it comes to dealing with children, numbnuts. What? I'm sorry? I can't take any pictures and video. I can I can barely hear you. You want to come around here so I can talk to you? That's not true. What, what makes you say that? This is a public building, correct? It is. Zacky boy, uh, I'm just wondering, how many times have you been trespassed already? Not to mention the fact that you got 41 CFR, which has pretty much screwed over Joey on a few occasions. So let's take a quick look at uh, what got him trespassed from a uh, courthouse a while back. In fact, several courthouses. To the property, to off federal properties, pretty much. Yeah, you know, Joey, uh, unlike your uh, pathetic little audience, I can actually read. And, you know, to be perfectly honest, Joey, I'm a little concerned about your ability to read it as well. So here we go. 
41 CFR 102-47.42. Except where security regulations, rules, orders, or directives may apply, or a federal court order or rule prohibits it, persons entering in or on federal property may take photographs of spaces occupied by a tenant agency for non-commercial purposes only with the permission of the occupying agency concerned. Spaces occupied by a tenant agency for commercial purposes only with the written permission of an authorized official by the occupying agency and building entrances, lobbies, foyers, or corridors or auditoriums for news purposes. So under that umbrella, dude, you are not allowed to do anything in there with the video camera. And the fact that this is a courthouse makes it a non-traditional public forum. And I'm sure the same thing that can be said about the uh, Department of Children and Families. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that can be said about that, too, because all the confidential information that uh, floats around in there, not to mention that they're trying to protect the children and everything like that. Uh, but Zacky Boy doesn't care. Sure, Zacky Boy is a father, but what kind of father sets an example like this where you antagonize people into getting into confrontations, physical confrontations with you uh, over children? I mean, good freaking grief, dude. You should be setting a better example for your children. If not, well, I don't think you're a very good father. Do you have like a like a policy or something or is it a, is it a law you're referring to then or well you told me i have to stop so i'm just asking for clarification is that a law or a policy that you're referring to okay well then just mind your business on my mind I'm not here recording kids. Okay. Oh, bullshit! Bullshit! Yeah, Zacky boy, uh, that's a bunch of bullshit right there. I had to blur out so many children in this video, which makes me wonder, what was your real purpose for going here? Was it for you to get off? I mean, no, that couldn't be it. I mean, we don't want to go that far. But given your now expunged criminal history, yeah, we might not know what you really are behind the scenes. But you going along, walking around with these kids, and your camera not going down when these kids around. You don't. For you don't. You don't, sister, you don't think it's odd to, to tell a grown man what to do? Please go about your you don't think it's odd to even be asking that question? Uh, grown men get told what to do all the time by their wives, by their bosses, by the military if they're in it. I mean, it happens every single day. So it's not exactly an oddity, dude. That's just you being sexist at this point. Which would go on to explain other charges that you've had under your belt as far as domestic abuse goes. I am. I'm doing that, so just leave me alone. You don't want to be on camera? Wow. Then don't talk to the cameraman if you don't want to be recorded. Don't be around here recording people. It's a free country, and I'm in a public building. It is at this point when uh, the police are called, uh, but we are going to have to wait uh, for the police because the confrontation that uh, Zacky Boy here initiated is about to begin. Or the office if they don't do anything about this threat. Excuse me. How are you doing? Ma'am? Ma'am? I had a question. Okay, Ma'am, I had a question. I had a question, ma'am. Can, you, can I speak to your supervisor? I want to speak to your 
I was just, uh, I was just threatened. I was just, I was just threatened by someone who's here. I want to speak to your supervisor, please. You know, Zachy boy, uh, there's something that tells me that this will end up the same way that uh, it went for uh, JC News Now when he decided that he wanted to uh, puff up to somebody at uh, a marijuana dispensary in uh, Missouri. Uh, well, it didn't end well for him, and uh, the guy that uh, ended up putting him down uh, never got charged with because, well, Jimmy Boy was the antagonist the whole dang time. And, well, guess what? Jimmy Boy is about to spend a few years in prison. That's something you really should think about, uh, dude, because, yeah, you might end up back behind bars here soon enough to, at the rate you're going. A little longer than a few minutes later. It's just weird. You're walking in here to record. Okay, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. I think it's I think it's weird to ask a grown man to stop recording in public. Yes, because why would you record? There's children. Why would I not? So there's children in public. So don't go in public. I I suppose that's your goal to make sure that everybody's afraid to go out into public every day. And I'm not just talking about the uh, sidewalks or anything like that. I'm talking about uh, where people actually have a reasonable expectation of some form of privacy, such as the Department of Children and Families, a.k.a., in this case, a uh, WIC office. Oh, yeah, uh, and this one's for you, Zachy Boy. You keep on commenting on my uh, high tone voice. Well, uh, this one's for you, Zachy Boy. Uh, go f*** yourself. There's cameras everywhere. There's cameras all over this building. That's okay. Too cool. Why not? I can, I can FOIA request those cameras and use it for whatever purposes I want. Let's be reasonable. Oh, yeah. You can FOIA request those uh, videos, but you know what? They're going to be doing some redacting to make sure that there's no sensitive information in those videos because you know damn good and well there's going to be a lot of sensitive information floating around here. But yeah, you just don't give a shit. And be respect be respectful. I'm not I'm not bo I'm not bothering you. I'm not slowing down anything. They don't they don't want to work cuz I'm trying to ask for a supervisor. I was just threatened by somebody here. <laughs> what did you say? You said you were going to punch me. That's what you said. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Oh, just see slap me. I'm not gonna not play with you. Go and get up out of here. Go and get out of here. I go to jail today. Go and get out of here. I ain't getting out. Don't touch me. Fuck out. What the fuck out? I told you not to record my little sister. Get Don't touch me. Get out. Y'all see it? Y'all see this? Get out. I don't give a fuck. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Do you see that? Yeah, Zachy boy, we all saw it. Uh, we all saw that uh, you got owned by her. I mean, you had it coming. You uh, antagonized, you pushed buttons, and, uh, well, you ended up uh, finding out. And I personally don't feel one bit of sympathy for you whatsoever, dude. I mean, you had it coming. So for the next uh, 20 minutes or so, Zacky Boy waits around for the cops to finally show up, and uh, we'll take a little look at what happens with that and then move on. Because, you know, this video was well over 40 minutes long. Many, many minutes later. So won't cause anything further. I'll stand over here with you, not outside for now, but I'm good over here. I don't want to leave the property just yet because I want them to understand this is public and we can take pictures and video. Sure, sure. So I have it on video. I can show you guys. Okay. Um, but she assaulted me, slapped me, grabbed my grabbed my sweater, took my camera, took my phone, threw it on the floor, took my body cam, <laughs> threw it on the floor. I mean, gotcha. she went all out trying to, and then she was trying to push, if she did successfully push me outside those doors. Yeah. When I was standing over here, she pushed me all the way over here. I didn't lay a finger on her the whole time. I got all on camera. Yeah. Because I don't, you know, hate women or anything, but um, 
But yeah, she, she's hitting me and assaulting me and battering me because I'm taking pictures of video, which I have a legal right to do in public, yeah, yeah, correct? Yeah. It's under the First Amendment, Freedom Press. Yeah, that's right, man. As yeah. long as you're not, you know, looking at their documents, you're trying to zoom in on that, I mean, you have every reason well, to do that. Yeah, I have no intention of doing that. I mean, I'm not doing that, but, you know, yeah. what all I'm doing is walking around, looking at the posters on the wall, um, looking at the, you know, spaces that are, that are, um, that are open to the public. Yeah. I'm not going to any restricted areas, you know, the deal. So, yeah, um, yeah I was assaulted. So now this has turned into a... Uh, you know, me pressing charges against her for assaulting a law-abiding citizen inside of a public space. Bullshit, Zachy boy. You're a law-abiding citizen? Yeah, you give yourself way too much credit. And, uh, well, people have looked into your records, and especially those expunged ones, and we all have a lot of questions about what are in those expunged records? And there are people out there that can find that out. In fact, some of them contain domestic abuse charges. We wonder what that's about, too. Then there's the issue of the title of your video right here. You know, if one didn't know any better, uh, one would uh, mistake you for being a total, well, racist to begin with. Uh, yeah, no, that couldn't be it, could it? Then there's the issue of, uh, well, what I've been told by other people that this video has already been reported by a bunch of other people. So, yeah, for uh, the very reason that I blurred out so much of this video, yeah, so uh, if this video is taken down, uh, you'll probably understand why later on. Because, well, I didn't do it. It wasn't me that put all those children up there. That was you. Now for a little bonus video. A classic video of an Australian Sovtard who ends up getting himself arrested in a library nonetheless. So let's go ahead and enjoy that one. And then we'll be out of here because, you know, we all got to get the taste of Zacky Boy out of our mouths. I mean, it's rather bitter, don't you think? Hello. I'm just taking some pictures. Oh, sorry. Just the building. Oh, anything that comes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll come around. Okay. Oh, we got a bat. Just anything, the building and stuff. Can I see what you've been taking, please? Because if you've been taking photos of people, then that's not allowed. It's, I'm not allowed to take not pictures allowed, of not people. Without their, not without their permission. If you're coming straight up and putting photos in the office. Oh, they're in public. I mean, they're visible from public. No, They've got no. You're going right up to the window and you're taking photos. So can I see, please, what you've mm, taken? You no, that's not. You can't no. take people, photos of people without their permission. In public. This isn't there's no, that, there's no expect. Place. That is an office building. That's but fine. they're visible hours in public. So. Yeah, we're, we're, we're in, in public, public, but they're not in public. In a, they're in an office, in a private office. They have, to prov they have to create their own privacy from the public? No, they don't. No, they don't. This is an office building. If you, if you take photos, you can take photos outside of other things, but not of people. Not of people in a private can, space. So Victorian state law says I can take pictures of anything that I can no, see from public? No. I can show you the law? Yeah, Victorian law. Let's take a quick look at a snippet of that. Well, according to this, there are areas that may raise concerns such as swimming pools, beaches, parks, cemeteries, etc. It is advised that you check with the relevant authorities beforehand, and even the government may oppose sanctions on certain government properties, such as railways, power stations, military areas. It is illegal to trespass in these areas and may lead to prosecutions. You should always check the relevant agencies for their rules and regulations, pretty much. Which clearly you're not doing, you're just walking right in there, and saying that you have the right to do it. Just like an American frauditor would do, following the script to the letter. Can you please show me the photos? I, no, that's my personal business. Yeah. So. Yeah, thank you. Can you wait yeah. here, please? Okay. Thank you. You want to yeah. take a seat, that's fine. Okay. I'll just, I just want to have another look around. It's a beautiful building you have here. 
you know, you're mistaken that no, um, I'm not. so there's no expectation of privacy in public. No, no, so sorry. Ah yes, more of the same lame frauditor script, no variation. Even with this Australian frauditor, you think he would come up with something unique, but no, he does not have the brains for it. They were visible from public? Yeah, but you cannot go straight up and take photos of people without oh, they can permission. They can put curtains there if they don't want to be seen from public. No, it's not, not my It's not no, my not problem. Right. It's not, yeah. No, so. you should not be taking photos of people without their consent. Not in public. I don't even consent in public. I don't know you where do, you got you that do. from. You can't, I can't go up so when I go to, with you. when I go to Disneyland and take a picture of my children and, and there's 4,000 people in the background. This is not Disneyland, you damn idiot. That is a theme park. This is an office building. And that is a very bad analogy. You fail totally. I wonder if our own frauditors melted this Aussie's brain. People, you weren't taking a general visit. I was. I went you straight up to the window. I went the window taking photos. I saw you. That's what I've done. I just That's went up to the window. And, and there's people in there. So well, can same you, as at Disneyland. Can you please have a seat while we, uh, we sort <laughs> no, this okay. out? Okay. I'm just going to do a loop around quickly and I'll be back. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm... What, what did you want me to wait for? Because we're just, we're making a phone call at the moment just okay. to see. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. <laughs> hey, got Michael, thanks. No, not much. Any reason why you're coming, or? Oh, just to take some pictures. Oh, why? Yeah. Take pictures, yeah. Okay. Can you just stay two meters, please? COVID and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a bit uncomfortable when, when you're filming people. We're not sure what you're, what you're doing. Yeah, there's no expectation of privacy in public. It's a public building. I'm in public. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want to tell me why you're filming or? Just to take pictures. I've already told you. Okay, no problem. What's all the commotion for a few pictures? Comfort level. Hmm? Comfort level. No, I'm just curious as to why you're taking pictures. Well, I just, I already told like 10 people that I'm taking pictures. to take pictures. It's a bit unusual, that's all. So you can understand why we're a bit, I mean, what's he doing, you know? Taking photos inside? I guess I can understand, but to, you know, to make all that commotion and stuff, calling the cops, it's pretty crazy. It's not so crazy when you think about it, when you know that people have scouted buildings like this for nefarious purposes. Yeah, we don't, get, we don't often get people taking photos inside the building. That's a shame. That's mm. a shame. Mm. Yeah. Any reason why you're... Uh... I just take pictures, yeah. I like it. I like taking pictures. and right. It's a beautiful building. It's a lot of um, important stuff goes in there. And... So my name's Adam. Anyway, I'm local laws based on city. Council, Adam? So, nice yeah. to meet you, mate. I'm Alex. You're Alex? Alex? Yes. Okay. Local laws? I've never seen that before. Yeah, no, we do all the local law stuff, animal management, things like that, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Is the rangers and stuff, are they local uh, law or not? rangers are more shire. They're, they're oh, shire yeah. councils, oh, yeah. so... Hmm. Awesome. Hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So, Alex, what's your last name, Alex? Oh, I'm not going to give up, mate. Yeah, yeah, okay. thank you. Okay. So, Thanks. so what are you going to do from here? Are you going to just sort of hang around, or are you going to... Well, they said they're calling the police. I don't want the police chasing me. You're Hello. Ready? Waiting for the police, are you? Well, I don't want the police chasing me. How are you going, mate? Hi. Good. Good. Are you recording? Yes, I am. What for? Oh, just for myself, yeah. Just take some pictures and stuff. Yeah. That's a bit unusual around the council building. There's laws that probably prevent that. And suspicious behaviour around our building. It's a health and safety. Suspicion issue. is a crime, or? It, it's concerning for us because we don't know what your motives are. We don't know what who you are and why you're doing this. This is unusual behaviour. So, you know, we have every right to check our staff and our... Right. Yeah. So well, there's about 15 cameras in that building. They're constantly on videotape. I don't know why they're feeling uncomfortable or you, you feel threatened. Well, we, don't, we don't know what your intentions are and why you're here videotaping. With the pictures. Yeah, yeah but why? It's, it's unusual behavior. Wouldn't you agree? So it, no, it, it, not at all. I'm in public. I'm allowed to take pictures. Uh, I ask you to stop. 
I'm on a polite decline, yeah, I'm in public. That would be that would be violating my rights. Well, we'll, we'll Victorian state law says I can record in public. We'll get the police here too. Okay, I mean you can do whatever you want. Yeah, but, we will yeah. do that because we we take staff security and the security of our building and our assets just a serious thing. Uh, we don't know your intentions or whatnot, and that's why we'll take this action. Yep. Okay. Well, I've asked you to stop recording. Yeah, I'm not going to stop recording. Absolutely not. Yeah. And, and, and is there any you won't be violating my rights is today. Is there any reason that you you are recording? I'll just take some pictures. I've already said it about 15 times now. So, but what are you taking pictures of? Just to take pictures so of the whole building, yeah. including staff. Well, absolutely, they're public servants. Yeah. That, that seems sensible and reasonable. Absolutely, they're in public. So when you go to Disneyland and you take a picture of your kids, do you ask the 4,000 people behind you to, for permission? Slightly different. Slightly different. Why? It's both it's public. Very different context, isn't it? Why? Because they're there taking holiday photos or whatever they're doing. They're not hanging around a public building. I'm not hanging around. I've been here for, I was here for three minutes until yeah. you guys said you're calling the cops on me. Going up to windows and filming inside of the building. Um, it's, on, it's public property. I'm on See, public that's property. It's not normal behavior. It's not normal no, behavior. It's not. It's not what a person would normally take video of, or recording of, um, and that's where it's suspicious. Yeah, I so. yeah find that hard to believe. So if I'm walking down the street and there's a public, whatever it may be, something that's open to the public, I can put my camera in the window. That's fine. Like I'm walking past there, my eyes can see it. I can put my camera in there. It's not a problem. No, we also have local laws in this municipality about behavior on council land in municipal places which is uh, one of the requirements that you may be breaching. Yep. So, Can I get your name, please? Yep. My name is John Coates. I'm the Manager of Amenity Protection with Bayside Council. Okay. Thank yeah. you. And your, your details? Uh, I haven't given my name. I'll tell you my first name, Alex. Okay, yeah. Alex. Thank you. Are you a local resident? Or? Um, I don't want to answer any of those questions. Right. Thank right. you. Well, Alex, as I said, I've asked you to stop recording. Yeah. I'm not going to let you violate my rights, mate. Uh, and, and I'm not demanding that you do it, I'm just asking. Okay, I'm going to poli um, politely yeah. decline. Thank yeah. you. Fair enough, and we'll, we'll just ask the police to attend, and I'm, I'm sure they will again. You, you have the right to do that? Further. From the local law tellers, is there anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I'm asking to stop recording, so yeah. we haven't. So it's a bit of a safety issue, most of the public, so we're not sure what you're, you're actually doing here. That's why we yeah. ask you... Know, I've told you, it's just to take pictures. Strange. Just to take pictures. Taking photos inside, it's a bit strange. It's a safety concern for us. I mean, if someone walked past those windows and looked in, you wouldn't be asking their name and calling the police on them. Well, it's just because I'm taking a picture. It doesn't make sense. You, you, you'll see, the police will tell you. They can't do nothing. If, you, if you're that worried about people seeing into those windows, I suggest you put blinds on there. I mean, instead of calling the police on people for looking in there, you know. I think we're, you know? we're debating different points. Seeing and looking in normally passively, that's a different scenario than someone coming up to a window with a camera and taking a photo with the intent of taking a photo inside of a car I, I mean, I can see it with my eyes. I can go home and uh, draw an exact painting of what I just saw. You can't trespass my memory. You can't trespass my eyes. What would you do then? It's the same thing as the camera, sir. It's not a difference. I, I, I beg to differ. Oh, you can. You're being irrational, my opinion. Well, that's my opinion. Yes, my opinion is that, you know, the, 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 your conduct seems suspicious and concerning to us from a health and safety perspective as well as a privacy perspective. Yeah, there's no expectation of privacy in public, sir. So I was standing in public. They don't have an expectation of privacy. You should know that. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it to... Further review and further okay. assessment. Hello. Hey. How you going? Good, Good thanks. Alex, is it? Yes. Can I just get your name and badge number, please? My name's Holly Cody, first constable for Quran Fatu. Thank you. And your name and badge number, sir? What's your name, eh? I, I said it's Alex. Yeah, you your I haven't given it. Can I just get your name and badge number, please? What are you doing? Is it not professional for you to give me your name and badge number, sir, if you're communicating with me? I haven't got your details yet. So if you give me I mean, I'm not a public servant. 
You should be. Is it not professional for you to give me? What are you me? doing here today, Alex? I'm just taking some pictures. Can you just? Can I get your name or badge number, sir? Unless we're executing legislation, we don't have to give you our name or badge number. I've read your policy. You, if you're communicating yeah, I'm with the public. At the moment is, uh, it's an okay. for me. Listen to me for a second, okay. okay? You're trespassing at the moment, okay? Staff have asked you to leave, okay? We have legislation. <sighs> if you don't provide us your name and address, you'll be placed under arrest. Do you understand that? Uh, they can't ask me to leave for any reason. They're, they're violating my rights. Uh, listen to me for a second. Yes. I've asked you to leave, okay? For what reason? Staff have asked you to leave because you're in here trespassing at the moment, okay? You're filming? I understand that's fine. You're allowed yeah. to film, okay? Staff have asked you to leave. You haven't left. Well, they've asked okay. me because I'm filming to so leave. at the moment, we've asked you to leave. Are you going to leave? Um, I mean, I, am I going to get a trespass notice? Because I'm going to sue you guys. That's I mean, right. you have no right to kick me out. They have I'm no right you, to ask me Alex, to leave. I'm telling you, you need to leave. Are you going to leave? Are you going to give me a trespass notice? I'm telling you right now, are you going to leave? All right, we'll, we'll stand outside then. I'll, I'll talk Why? to you there. Oh, you don't want me to leave now? Alex, I need your details. What is your last name? For trespass? Correct. If you refuse so, to give your details, you'll be placed under arrest. So, I, I you are demanding you. me to give you my you. name? Correct. For a crime details, of trespass. Are you for the crime of trespass, correct? correct? Can you just answer my question? So yes. I answered your okay. questions, you need to answer So right now. after I give you my ID, will I receive a trespass you may notice? notice? I may. Is that likely? I have to speak to staff. Okay. I mean I, I may you. is not really a, a suspicion of a crime. It's a may. I don't have to clarify that with you. I need is that likely? Alex, I'm not going around in circles but, with you. But you, okay? you, you got to ask for my name for a crime, so and you're saying maybe it's a crime. Okay, we're giving Simple you ample opportunity to provide your details. You can replace under arrest now if you don't provide them. So for a maybe crime, you're going to arrest me because I'm not giving my okay. name. Is that right? All right? Arrest me. This frauditor plague is continuing to spread far beyond the border of the United States. While there is nothing inherently wrong with taking photographs or video, there can be issues with taking pictures or video of government buildings with secure information in it. In some cases, that might be considered espionage. Now just think of a different time and place that this was occurring in, such as World War II. Do you think you'd be walking around the government building with the video camera doing this during that time period? I don't think so. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?